Today we will be performing the March test, also known as the Gillette test, and this is one of the tests that's used to identify SI dysfunction. It has been shown to be a clinically useful tool and has good intra-rater reliability indicating SI dysfunction. However, inter-rater reliability has been shown to be poor and unreliable. Specifically, the MARCH test will be looking at the motion of the ilium on the sacrum with hip flexion or hip mutation. The test is performed by asking the patient to stand away from you, and the therapist will then palpate the PSIS with one thumb and then the spinous process of S2 with the other thumb. During hip flexion, maximum hip flexion, the PSIS should move inferior relative to the sacrum. The therapist assesses both sides bilaterally, and if there is a hypomobility, it will be shown that there is a lack of inferior movement on one side. That will therefore help the therapist to plan treatment. So Kathleen, we're going to do the Gillette March test today. So if you wouldn't mind coming over here. All right. And you can hold on to the table if you need to. Um, I'm going to be doing this test in order to figure out why you're having low back pain and SI pain. So I'm first going to palpate for your PSIS, a bony landmark on your lower back. Okay, and then I'm going to look for the spinous process of S2, which is another bony landmark a little bit lower down. And if you wouldn't mind lifting your right leg up towards the ceiling, okay, and coming back down. Very good. And then I'm just going to switch sides here, and if you could bend your left knee up towards the ceiling. Okay, and back down. Very good. So there was equal inferior movement on both sides, so that 